Hi, and you are watching The Art of Living show. Today I have something really special to show you. We're going to have a look at a traditional Malay house that is set in country heights. Come on, let's go have a look inside. Now, being a traditional Malay home, you have to take your shoes off before you enter the home. If I can get my shoes off. <laughs> Here we go. Early Malay houses can be described as raised on timber stilts. Through many decades, the Malay architecture has been influenced by Indonesian Bugis, Riau and Java from the south, Siamese, British, Arab and Indians from the north, Portuguese, Dutch, Aceh, Minangkabau from the west and Southern Chinese from the east. Although this family home was built according to traditional Malay design, they have incorporated modern conveniences like this beautiful swimming pool right here. They've also incorporated other different types of tradition in this home, as you can see from the wall behind me. Now these five houses that comprise this traditional Malay home are linked together by wooden walkways that give it that open, peaceful feeling. The core of this very comfortable family home is an old, traditional, reassembled Malaccan courtyard home around which the other four structures have been built. Now these other four structures are old homes which have been taken from different parts of the states in Malaysia. Usually the houses have pitched roofs, verandas or porches in front, high ceilings and lots of big openings for ventilation purposes. And leading off the walk-in wardrobe in the master bedroom is the bathroom. And as you can see, it's a huge and very big bathtub. The terracotta tiles enhances the timber walls of this bathroom and keeps it cool at the same time. The walk-in wardrobe is fairly large, not dauntingly modern, and there is a staircase that leads to the other rooms downstairs. It's so peaceful here, I can almost forget I'm working. This is the guest house, and as you can see, it has its own private balcony and also an ensuite bathroom. It's almost like being in your own little resort. Off the guest house is the entertainment room. Well, with a pool table that big, who could mistake it for anything else? There's actually two main entrances to this house. This is the main entrance and traditionally was used only by the men. This is the former living room. Another notable feature of the house used to great effect on the ceiling of the living room are woven bamboo panels called kalarai. And here's a small nugget of information about this home. It was actually constructed by Tunku Vic, who is a member of the royal family in Malaysia. And it was lovingly put together with him and his architect. It took them eight years until it was completed. It not only has a stunning pool, but a pond with very large fish in it. And throughout the house, you can hear the sound of running water. The dining room incorporates some pieces of modern furniture, but somehow it works well with the naturally ventilated room. The traditional Malaysian house is an intelligent, environmentally friendly building. I can feel my Malay heritage tugging at my heartstrings. And the price for this property is 8 million ringgit. The mythical creature called the dragon, well, I'm a dragon and proud of it too. You know, 
was just thinking to myself, after being here for just a few hours, I feel so much calmer and more tranquil in this very, very beautiful traditional Malay home. I've hoped you've enjoyed it as much as I have.